Hi, I'm Nick Nagurka from LiveX, and welcome to our largest unboxing ever. Uh, so today we have something special for you. It's our new console. It is the Soundcraft VI-1000, which is the smallest of the Soundcraft VI range of consoles and the newest. Uh, but nevertheless, it's our largest unboxing. So bear with me while we get this guy open. Totally boxing myself in here. All right, so now that we have the console open here, looks like we've got a ton of power uh, for uh, I think this console is US and international. Don't need that quite right yet. The console came by freight, so it was uh, quite extensively packaged. All right, inside, got some instructions and a dust cover. It's been packaged very nicely for a uh, resistance to humidity and travel, so we're gonna have to get this off. I'm gonna break out the handy dandy multi-tool. Voila, the Soundcraft VI-1000. It's really quite a beautifully put together piece of equipment. So, I just happen to have some power right here, so we may as well turn it on and see what we've got. Turn it around in a minute, but in the back it does have dual power supplies. There we go, we're gonna hit the power button here. And as we're booting up, so things I love about this console, it has 96 input channels at 48K or 96K, which is wonderful. It's got, I've got all of your control and DCA subgroups uh, auxes, buses, all over in this section, all of your input channels in this section, your master section. It's got two 16-channel auto mixers, which I'm uh, really excited about having. It's got 24 bus paths that can be either mono or stereo, stereo and not compromise your total number. They all live right here. Those bus paths can be either auxes, buses, or matrices, which is great. Uh, you've got your touch screen here. You can access all the different aspects of your input channel. It all pops up on the Vistonics screen right here. Everything is easily manipulatable. Um, it's a pretty easy console to learn, which I really find to be important, especially when you're dealing with people who may not necessarily be audio engineers all the time. They may just be operators. Um, you've got your whole, you've got your, you've got extensive snapshot control. You have uh, user assignable encoders. It's really, really a, a lot of functionality in a pretty small console, and it beat out a lot of the other consoles that we were specking at the same time. Um, on the back, I'm not sure if I can spin this around. It's maybe a little bit, a little bit difficult here. I'm gonna have to power this guy down here. So, we'll spin it around for you. Is that good? 
That is pretty good. All right. Should be pretty good. So let's move over to the uh, local I.O. and uh, general connections on the back panel of this console. So to start, you have uh, got two uh, power supplies right here. They're redundant, and they will switch over in the event of failure of one or the other. Um, as, well, as far as local uh, analog I.O. goes, you've got 16 mic preamps. Uh, then you've got 16 line outs. You have four Studer uh, D21M card slots here, so sort it'll of take basically the same cards as uh, Studer Vista series console. Uh, on the way, we've got uh, an additional Dante card for this device, and I'll explain why a little bit later. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? We have Word Clock I.O. You've got MADI uh, multi-mode optical on SC connectors here. Uh, and then parallel to those MADI paths are a true onboard native Dante uh, card. So what we plan to do is we plan to have a lot of our, our I.O. already on Dante. So this is going to be a 64-channel uh, redundant path. But I'm also going to be doing sound grid inserts uh, via Dante as well uh, to a server. And we just bought the Waves uh, Dante Bridge. So we're going to be putting an extra Dante card in here as well to give us 64 more channels of Dante inserts. Um, Let's see, what else do we have here? We have AS-EBU in, AS-EBU out. That's four channels of each. And um, there's a DVI port on here, but I don't believe it's functional yet, which I'm a little bit bummed about Soundcraft, and I would love to see that implemented later. We have Harman's HiQ net, USB, and MIDI I.O. So that pretty much comprises what you see on the back there. Uh, as far as card slots go, there's a lot uh, available. There are Dolby cards, there's embedder, de-embedder cards. Uh, I'm excited to get into that a little bit more later. So yeah, this is kind of a general overview of the console. I'm really, really excited about putting this one to use. And uh, again, I'm Nick Nagurka from LiveX Production, and this has been an unboxing of the Soundcraft VI-1000.